Hi, my name is Corey Prince. Are you a local pro politician or anything like that? Absolutely not. You're just here to support the cause? I'm here to learn, get information, and share the information with my community. So what do you do as a career? I'm actually a consultant. I own Community Consulting LLC. Why do you want to support Mitchell Everett? Or Everett Mitchell, sorry. Well, I didn't say I support him at all. I said I wanted to just gain information. Yep. I wanted to hear what he was about, what he stands for, and, you know, how he'll represent the community. All right. So did you like what you heard? I did, actually. Yeah, I was um, very excited about some of the things, not only that I've heard that he's done in the past, but the things that he wants to do now. Yeah, he's an amazing speaker. He certainly has some great morals. So does he have your vote? Well, I wouldn't say that just yet. Um, I need to hear more and see more. I need to also see who is, um, what other candidates are available um, and hear what they have to say as well because I want to make sure that I make an informed decision. So what changes do you want to see for the community as a per part of the community? Well, it depends on what community we're talking about. If well, let's say the racing community. Like, Well, I think the city of Racine... Um, as far as changes that a state Supreme Court judge could make? I don't know, like a bill that would get passed, sort of like Roe versus Wade, something like that, that would like affect the entire country, right? A great, that's a great example. So um, something that comes to mind is in the state of Wisconsin, they have something that's called truth and sentencing. This started in 1999, implemented by former Governor Tommy Thompson and our Wisconsin State Legislator, which means that the amount of time that you're sentenced to is the amount of time that you do in prison. Your sentence is bifurcated. So if you get a 10-year prison sentence, the judge can uh, split this sentence up and give you six years in prison and four years on parole. And that means that you have to do the entire six years in prison. Whereas under the Wisconsin State old laws, uh, prior to 1999, um, your sentence of 10 years, you will be eligible for parole after two and a half years. So you will be eligible to be released if you get the treatment that you need, if you get the resources that you know, you determine that you need, um, you can get those things and be released in two and a half years. Well, that's really interesting, actually. So that'd be really useful to anyone who's looking to see some time in jail and get a little, little bit of a lesser sentence, right? Well, I don't think it's so much of a lesser sentence. I think it's more of the destruction, especially of the black family system. Um, if we're talking about incarceration in the state of Wisconsin, Wisconsin actually leads the United States of America in incarcerating black people. Yeah, we only have a 6% black population in the state, 6% but we lead the entire United States of America in incarcerating black folks. I've heard that the poverty, uh, over 36% of the population that is below the poverty line in Racine alone is black entirely compared to 8% that are white. And that just seems completely racially discriminatory and it just doesn't seem right. It's, it's, it's huge, it's a huge number, 36% is, is ginormous it's crazy and it's 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 even more ginormous to use your word um, when you look at the disparity when you look at the population the amount of the population that we represent compared to the amount of population in prison that we represent yeah that that disparity is uh, very large and it's troubling and it's something that I hope that a judge like every Mitchell could work on and what advice would you give to a high schooler who's maybe about to graduate high school and they're ready to vote and they're just they're trying to learn about the politics like you and see what politician they should root for what did you what would you give absolutely great question um, the advice that I would give would to be to do what exactly what I'm doing to get information to go around things like this um, you know learn the issues that affect yourself your community your family um, what person identifies the most with your values and the things that you want to move forward in your life, right? And then that's your choice. So that's the advice I give. It affects all of us. So yeah, might as well learn about it. Okay, thank you so much for the interview. It was really insightful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys.